thank you for the feedback that you gave on the unboxing for the white um, Chanel heart bag. So at the end of the video, I didn't have my phone because I'm taping off of my phone, but now I have my husband's phone and I have a bunch of like kind of assorted accessories that we'll try to see what will fit comfortably in the bag. I don't want to overstuff it, but I'll give you uh, a pretty good idea of what fits in the bag and then what doesn't. And I'll also, and again, I'm, I look like death warmed over today, sorry. So, um, and I'll show you a sneak peek of the other bag that I got. It won't be an unboxing, I was too excited. I'm telling you, the color, the, 21P, 21K, and now 22S, all the same color, but I've been obsessed with the color since I couldn't get it last year. I now have a piece in that color and I love it. So I'll just show you a snippet of it at the end. It's not gonna be an unboxing because I was too excited. Like I said, I already opened it. So without further ado, here's the white large Chanel heart bag that I unboxed the other day. And as I mentioned, I did um, put her in a white dust cover because I don't know why it would have come in black. Um, and again, it's just based on the rumors that I've heard about color transfer from those black covers. I want to uh, make sure that she stays her original and true color for as long as possible and through no fault of my own, I don't want it to have um, any problems. So here she is again, as you can see in her glory. I hope you can see that really. She's gorgeous. And again, I've got it stuffed still full of this paper that it came with, but um, it's a very pretty bag. And you can see on the back, after I looked through some of the rectangles aren't perfect or squares, whatever. They're not super perfectly lined up, but um, it's perfectly imperfect for my liking. And I realized that anytime you buy something that's handmade, I'm trying to look and see what you guys are seeing at the same time. Anytime that you guys buy something that's handmade, um, although it is very expensive, I agree, I understand that there's always going to be little imperfections and I'm not a perfectionist so um, it works for me. Those of you that are perfectionist, um, I'm sure you could probably find more things than me but I, that's not me. I'm not I'm not doing that. So let's see what fits in it. Right now I have my little like tray of stuff right and I know for certain what won't and what will fit in her but I will go ahead and I will kind of just show you each one kind of as a comparison. Um, first and foremost is gonna be the phone and it's the big, the 13 Max phone. Um, it's my husband's phone. So thanks for letting me borrow it while I do this video. And then I have some small accessories, card holder. Um, this is my makeup bag. Um, I have a big zippy, this is my daily. You can tell that I've warped it already because I put so much stuff in it. Sorry. And then, truly, this is like one of the most underrated accessories. Um, or maybe it's rated perfectly and I just don't know about it. But I love this. The mini pochette. Uh, this sucker goes with me uh, on every trip that I take. Because um, it fits great in whatever bag that I'm carrying. Because I like to usually carry something pretty small. So, we'll see at the end if it will fit in there. I was like, I've got already kind of a bad feeling. Because look at that shit but that's all right you know what we're gonna learn to pivot and we're gonna figure out how to get what we need our essentials into this bag so without further ado first let's go ahead and let's take all of the fancy papers and stuff off of it and see what we can do so i'll put the phone in there first like I said, it's still got tags on it. I'm not taking it out of the house probably for quite some time. Um, so I'll just drop it here. So the phone, obviously is not gonna go in the front pocket. So if you put the phone in horizontally, 
it will go and it will close. No stretching. See, it's perfect, right? But you'll also see that there's not a lot of room on either side. So you have a choice. You can choose to hold your phone, which a lot of people do because they're, you know, they're on it, texting pictures, whatever, or you can choose to put it in the bag, but then you've got to sacrifice. So it's about sacrifice, right? So I'll start with the Chanel card holder and that will easily drop in on one side of the phone, right? And I don't think that the card holder, if it had cards in it, because right now it's really flat, and I still have yet to use this. It still has the tag, the, I mean, the plastic on it. Um, but it would slide in here, and it does close, but I think if you had more than two or three cards in it, it might put a little stress on this pocket. And I have all of my cards here in my zippy, which we know won't fit in here, because I mean, look at that. So let's try it and let's see what we can put in here. I will take out um, Amex, Amex driver's license. Three cards, right? That's, that's enough. Oops. If I can get it out. Jeez Louise. So I'll put that there and I'll put these into my card holder. One, two, three. Psh, get in there. So there's three cards and it will go and slides in and it shuts without too much stress on the front of the bag. But that's still a lot for me. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I don't know if I'm super comfortable with that big gap there. And again, I don't want to put too much stress on this leather. So I would take that and I would probably put that inside. And if I was traveling with this bag, I might put like my hotel room key, something like that, something very flat in the front and in the back. Because even if I took the same card holder and I put it in the back pocket, that's, nope, it's not gonna, well, it's not, it's not gonna happen. It's, yeah, see, I'm struggling. And that's way too much pressure on the leather. So pop that out and we'll go back to the drawing board. We'll put it inside. And then what we'll do is we'll also take a phone charger. I've got a nice little flat one and we'll put that on the other side of the phone. So right now I've got three cards, card holder, phone and charger, and it goes in there without any stress. I'm trying to squeeze it to show you without any stress on the bag. It's a little bit heavy because of the phone and because of the charger, but again, there's no stress on the bag. So if I wanted to keep adding, um, I carry, <laughs> this is weird. What do y'all carry in your purse? It's really strange. I carry a tape measure like so, um, because right now I'm, redoing or trying to redo one of the rooms in my house. So I like literally, I don't leave home without my tape measure so that I know what dimensions I'm doing. So I can throw that in there, pretty simple. I can open up my makeup case. Aquaphor, that can go in there, pretty easy. I'll slide it in here. Um, hand sanitizer, I, ugh. ooh. It'll fit, but I would never carry red hand. It's just hand. Uh, I had a gin and tonic at dinner. So I'm like my, <laughs> so the red, I would never put in my white bag, but it will fit. I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna like lay it to the side. 
and then uh, no, I'm not even going to do that because I don't want it to leak or anything. Um, but a hand sanitizer will fit. If you have a small compact, that probably won't fit, so I won't bother. Um, if you want to add like a lip gloss, that might sit like on the top. But like right now, she's done. She's finished. So I suggest you dump the lip gloss and you just stick with the phone, the charger, the Aquaphor, and the card holder, and something that's roughly about this size, because it slides right in there. In my mini pochette, I also carry tissues. I carry hand lotion. Sometimes I carry gum and I will carry the oil absorbing um, sheets instead of the um, face powder. So the, let's see, if I kind of slide the hand lotion in, if it's a small travel size, because I don't leave home without hand lotion, and the gum, I mean, it's, we're, we're getting to the end here, folks. So again, it's time to prioritize. This will go in the front, the oil absorbing sheets. And I think we're, the tissues, I mean, we can roll them and maybe like put them here on the top. But I mean, you have to just put the tissues in your pocket or something or have your husband hold them. That's what I do. Um, Cause look right now she's full, she's heavy. And she's like, hey Kim, just stop, stop stuffing me full of stuff. So I'm gonna listen to the bag, I'm gonna stop, and that will show you roughly what fits in it. So a lot of people that carry their AirPods, that would fit in here in lieu of my tape measure. And so it holds the essentials, but it's not gonna hold a bunch of stuff. So if your daily purses, you know, are like designed to carry quite a haul, like my my daily purse, man, I shove that sucker like chock full and I carry it and it hurts my back, but it is what it is. Um, but this one is not built for that. This one's built to be cute, dainty, and only carry the essentials. It's for the minimalist. And um, so beware of that when you try to carry it, if you're not a minimalist. So that is what it holds. And what I'll do is I'll also try to revamp. I'm gonna leave the phone in and I'm gonna leave the charger in. Those are the two that I will leave. And of course, the Aquaphor, those are the three, those are my, my three staples. So I also, instead of the card holder, I also have the, uh, it's a Louis Vuitton. And I just, I got this at Christmas. I haven't used it yet. I was trying to decide if I was gonna keep it or send it back. And I ended up, I missed the window, so I'm keeping it. And it holds a little bit more than a card holder. And that will fit in here. It's from the men's collection too, if you didn't know. So it's really affordable. Um, and you can see the difference in the size between the card holder and the Louis Vuitton. You see one is gonna carry a little bit more than the other. So you can put this in here and that will fit also again with your aquaphor and your hand lotion. And there's no stress in the bag at all. Easy breezy, right? But if we upgrade from this card holder, and let's look, I know I have a recto reverso. Again, also I bought this at Christmas and I have yet to use it. Um, and I missed my opportunity to return it, but I love it because I like that it's so versatile. And what I really love about it is that it has this, um, and you can hook it onto the end side of your bag and it also will hold your car key, which I really, really like. And we haven't gotten to that part yet. So right now, one of the reasons why my zippy is so full is because I carry my car key inside of it. I mean, my car key is, it's huge. So if I add, my car key to the recto reverso and then try to put that in the bag. Jeez Louise, you can tell I haven't used it. I don't even know how to open it. Good grief. Like babe, for real, I don't know how to open it. It's not opening. Oh 
cheat. This is embarrassing. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pretend like they're connected. Jeez, I have no idea. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. You guys don't laugh at me. For fuck's sake. Babe, help. Screw the bag. No, because it should open, and it's not opening. And I don't know what. So it opens like this, but I don't know why it's not. Jesus, jeez. So I'm going to just go like this. This is it. I'm so sorry. So we're going to pretend like the key is attached to it, okay? And we'll go ahead and take the cards out of the card holder. One, two. Three. And then I'm just going to put these in the pocket here. I'm not going to add any coins or anything, and I'm not going to put them on the side where they're supposed to go, because no matter if I put them on the inside or the outside, the, the width of the piece will be the same. So here's the key. Here's the card holder that will also hold coins. It will hold one, two, three, probably four or five cards. And I will slide that in on the side of the phone. And it's a lot. So that means I've got to give up the lotion. So that means we have the phone, the recto verso card holder, the keys, and the charger. And it will close, but it's a little tight. So the way to avoid this, because you, yeah, I'm not even gonna zip it because you can see that the leather is already pulling a little bit. It's pulling right here. So I won't close it. So the way around this, is don't drive. Take an Uber or get someone to drive you. And then the recto verso is still a little big, especially if you put anything else in it. I wouldn't, I don't suggest this, even though I love this piece. I'd go back to the card holder. I'd probably get in a different color, definitely a lighter color. I would use this three cards. You'd have your lotion. You would have your whatnot. I call it a whatnot, but it could be your iPods or it could be a tape measure and it's all gonna go in here. So that gives you an idea of what will fit in it. And hopefully you kind of carry maybe the same amount of things or roughly the same size, or you get an idea of what this bag will and will not carry. But again, I love the bag. I hate that the little stickers coming off of it, but Eventually, I'll take it off when I carry it. But there she is. And she is not stretched at all. Yeah, she's gorgeous. And then I, on the unboxing video, so we can stop it now. And then on the unboxing here, I said that I also got a another bag. I got a medium size classic flap. It's in lambskin, but it's in that brown color that I'm obsessed with. And I've tried so hard to get this color. Um, I'm kind of late to the game. I didn't really get into the color until late last summer when the first collection had already been released. And then by 21K, I couldn't get it um, but this time I did, I was able to snag it, which I'm really excited about. So I'll show it to you, sorry. And it's not an unboxing because I was really excited to see it, but she's really pretty. And she's very delicate. And she came in a super swanky white dust cover, which I like. But at this point, I mean, I buy dust covers off of Amazon. So if I if she didn't come with a white one, I would have had one to put her in anyway. But they're like my favorite ones. Look how pretty. And here she is. And I apologize, this is not in um, natural sunlight because it's dark outside, it's, it's late. But here is the medium classic flap. And the color 
is the NB356, which is the same color as the collection that came out last year, those two seasons. I know there was one color in between that was a little bit different, but this is the 21 um, P. I think it's P. 21, uh, I don't remember. It's the one that came out last spring and then the one that came out in 21K. I know that, but here it is, and she's gorgeous. Yeah, I was like, I haven't even opened it. I was like, I just really, I opened it, I took it out of the bag, and then I put it right back in. <laughs> but yeah, she's really pretty. And that's as far as I'm gonna open it. I don't wanna open it right now. I was like, I'm, it's like I, she's so delicate. I don't wanna touch her. But here's a glimpse of her. Pretty, pretty, huh? And, excellent. Look at those nice little puffy quilts. And the lambskin too, it's gorgeous. So there you go. There's my second bag from this spring collection or summer collection. And thanks for watching. See ya. Pretty, pretty.